What's up, my friends? Jackson Galaxy, your cat daddy here. And um, I'm, you know, I just wanted to, to shoot this now because I was just reading an article. It bothered me. <laughs> and you know, I'm not gonna hold that in. I, I, I have to talk about what bothers me. We all talk about what bothers us. That's what we do. Hmm. Anyhow, um, <laughs> so I'm just throwing it out there because I think it's a really important topic. And I just, I'm worried that this kind of a sentiment is going to spread and I wanna to try to tamp it down before it does. So the article I was reading was uh, about leash walking your cats. The, the article had sort of a mm, to it, a little vibe. And then that vibe gets confirmed as the uh, article goes on by the head of a, you know, a fairly large adoption agency in a fairly large town. And she said, basically, don't do it. Don't do it, don't, don't, we don't recommend it. Uh, cats get loose out of their harnesses and they run away never to be seen again or, or the, when we find them, they've been you know, eaten by a predator or whatever, you know, really brings up really bad imagery in people's heads. And she says, you know, if, if you want, build a catio for your cats if you, if you want them to have the, the feeling of outside, but don't do this, we don't recommend it for anybody who does, who adopts one of our cats. To make matters worse, I've actually gotten word through the animal welfare grapevine that more than a few um, cat adoption, and I don't know if they're shelters or rescues, have written it into their contracts that you will not leash walk your cat, that they will be indoors only. Ugh, uh, really, I get it. The, 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 the vantage point here is it's an unnecessary risk, why take it? And I understand that somebody would say, well, it's like open up the door, let your cat run outside, hope they come back, and that's a risk you have to take. And anybody who says cats have to be indoors only, they're crazy. No, there's a very big difference here. Yes, this is not a necessity, I guess, but it is something that's incredibly fulfilling for the cats who really want it. It is a bonding exercise between human and cat. It's a new frontier and, and a way to just sort of expand their mojo for certain cats. And it gives them a, a, a level of exercise, a depth of exercise that we really can't duplicate. Here's the thing. Yeah, there's a risk, but there's other risks as well. Yeah. Build a catio. If you've got the wherewithal to build a catio of any size or shape, A plus, totally do it. There's ways for you to fence in your backyard. That's fabulous. Leash walking is a completely other thing. And I think it's a fabulous thing. Here's the deal. It breaks down like this. Number one, does your cat wanna go outside? Are they that cat? You know, or are you forcing it on them? Are they already so totally petrified about going outside that you're just doing it for you and not for them? Okay, strike one, you don't wanna do that. It's gotta be that your cat wants to go, they're that cat. Secondly, it's about the equipment. You make sure that this harness is constructed well, that the clasp is good, that you know the closure is good, that they just can't squiggle out of it. Okay, so now we've got that. The third part is you, you do it slowly. You know, you, you take your cat, you pick them up so they're not dashing out the door. You're picking them up, you're putting them outside and you're walking. You do it in small swaths. You do it when, when your block is not so busy. Um, you do it in, in a way that, there's, that you're mitigating this risk. See where I'm going? Mitigating this risk. Risks get mitigated. That doesn't mean that we get rid of them altogether. That doesn't mean we throw a blanket on it altogether because there's a chance that if it's done wrong or someone freaks out or whatever, that it's gonna go badly. I fix the leash. I make sure that it's around my wrist. I have control. Another complaint that I hear is that there's dogs at large and, and what's gonna happen with your cat on a leash? I think one of the best cures for that is actually backpacks. And I actually make and sell a, a cat backpack that it's great, you put it on your back. If there's any trouble coming at you, if there's a dog running at you, you've got something. Oop, I scoop my cat, put my cat in the backpack, we're done, we're good. You're practicing your, what I would call your fire drill. What happens if this happens? Well, this is how I'll approach it. This is what I'll do. I'm mitigating the risk. I believe that if it's the right cat, 
and the right circumstances that it's it's a really fulfilling thing for both cat and human and you should try to do it. But think about it this way. So you catify your home. You, you, you build shelves, you got your cat super highways going around your living room, shelves everywhere, up and down. You know that your cat can fall off those shelves, right? And they can really hurt themselves. So your choice is, do you not? Do you not catify your house? No, you, you, you should. But you should consider what you can do to help them. Meaning, is there a clear path for them to fall instead of hitting something on the way down? Then are they gonna land on something that is that is hard wood, which is not a good thing, or are you gonna put something as, as landing? Are there, is there gonna be rugs there? Great, okay, we've mitigated this risk now, and now we can give them this enrichment. Cat enrichment doesn't come without some measure of risk. I mean, I've been talking about leash walking. You know what, the funny thing is I worked on a New York Times article in 2011. I saw Jackson Galaxy, the host of Animal Planet's My Cat from Hell, teaching a troubled cat to walk on TV. Where me and the author talked about training her cat. We did, we took her cat out to a park and we did some walking. And immediately there was blowback. There was an article that, that did this to me and to, to her as well. And, and so, believe me, this vibe goes back a long way. There's, there's just no way that so many cats in your town have gotten free of their leashes and walked away because, I, sorry, you know? But I think at the end of the day, it's a little irresponsible to put that out there and to know that it could go out far and wide. Um, it's an opportunity and that opportunity has to be weighed by the risks and then it's up to the guardian to make that call. You know what that's called? That's called parenting. That's what this is. That is you deciding what is best for your animal children and making the call. And for anyone to, especially in something like this, to just try to squash it. Nope, you can't adopt from us unless you are going to not leash walk your cat. Okay, so I've made my point. Here's the thing, you guys. It's gotta be the right cat. It's gotta be the right equipment. It's gotta be the right training. You go nice and slow, you get them used to it, get their mojo up. If they're going outside and they are scared, scared, then you overstepped. So back it up again. You know, again, we're pushing challenge lines, but we're doing it in a responsible way. One paw over the line, not just throwing them into an ice bath. Normally, this kind of thing would just sort of roll off my back, but, but leash walking, I mean, harness walking is something that I feel is beneficial for the right cats. I think the equipment has gotten a lot better. There are great harnesses out there that they can't get out of. We've got the backpacks, we've got this whole system, and it's about your, you know, how you train your cat if they wanna go out there. So take this for what it's worth. One more time, I'll tell you this, never ever walk a cat with just a collar and a leash. Do your research. I mean, it's, it's very available. I've got uh, uh, videos that I've made on this topic. I'll put the one right above here. Again, prepare and see if it's right for you. All right, all right, well. Boy, I worked up a sweat talking about this. It must be a good one. All right, you guys, uh, let me know what you think about this. Put it down in the comments below. I'm open to the entire conversation. I'd love to hear it. In the meantime, don't forget, every Catterday, new video, so make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you get the alerts when the premiere is happening. All right, until next time, all that love and mojo to you. Meow.